Today's recipe is going to be taco wraps. Yep. And we're going to start off by putting together a fresh sized taco rice from Noor. We'll be adding um, one chicken on bouillon cube from Noor <coughs> and two cups of bottled water. We'll be back as soon as the rice is done to start the rest of it. got four Farmer John links in the frying pan. Skillet. I'm going to turn that on. About a five will do it. I was trying to get a package of sausage. But they didn't have any. They had, I could either get the links or I could get the patties. So this is a better choice, I think. Rice, be done. Gotta put this on because this is gonna be really hot. Nice and fluffy. My favorite. Okay. I'll cover that. adding all the other ingredients in the skillet here shortly. Just as soon as those sausages are ready. In here, you can see the garlic. I've used minced garlic. That's about a tablespoon. I used about a half of a bell pepper in total green and red. There's about five mushrooms sliced and half of a white onion diced. As soon as this is ready, we'll come right back. I put in um, half of a tablespoon of canola oil. You don't really need that much oil when you're talking about sausages because they're going to have their own oil already into it. So. As soon as they are um, cooked on one side, I can flip them over and then I'll be da uh, dicing these up in the pan before I add the rest of the ingredients. So, we'll be right back. Oh, 
here is the sliced up a bit. Don't be afraid to get after it. I prefer the sausage roll, but like I said, I couldn't get any. They had two choices in the market that I went to, so and I was kind of in a hurry. Two o'clock in the afternoon. I didn't want to have to go to another market. So here we are. Pop, pop, zing, zing. Okay, and now we're gonna add the veggies. Smells real good. Can't wait to invent smell vision. Oh yeah. You know if I didn't remove any of the oil or the grease, that's all flavor town sitting in there. I'm gonna lower the heat down to four. We don't want to burn anything. As soon as the onions are translucent, I can add the rice. I'm doing it this way on purpose. I need to do it the reverse, but I don't want to put the veggies or anything else in the rice cooker. Because I think it might, it might overcook them a bit. And I want the flavor of the meat to infuse with the sausage and, and, the, and the veggies and all that. I want that all to be infused together. And if I do it the other way, it's just Get and put in one tablespoon of clarified butter. Yeah, you can add real butter if you want to. Clarified butter won't burn at this temperature. That's what I'm using. And it does give you that buttery flavor. Just one more uh, layer of flavor, really. And the onions are pretty much ready now, so I can go ahead and add the rice. golden brown almost cooked too much but that's why it's important to turn it off you can see what I'm talking about right there it's just a little bit too much on the bottom I noticed that rice cooker tend to do that Winning away. <laughs> the steam got me there. Whew. Look 
looking good. It's smelling good. <coughs> I haven't put any seasoning in it just yet, but I'm going to put some cracked pepper. I'm not going to add any salt. I don't believe it needs it. And at any rate, never add the salt until you've had a chance to take a taste. Kind of like a, a rule. Hmm. Hot, but good. I'm going to turn the pan off. Because I don't need that on. turn it off because this pan is roaring hot. It's going to finish cooking everything the way you need it. Whew. Steam alert. <laughs> Whoa. Big cloud tried to get me. I think we're done here. One thing that's going to be needed now is for me to put them in the wrap and make our wraps with it. Taco wraps. And we will be back shortly. Shredded quesadilla cheese. You, of course, can use whatever you like, as you like. That's your call. It is hot. some sausages in there. And I'm going to put some shredded lettuce in there. And some tomato. Gotta have tomato. I've tested this. Tasted it. Tasted it. I've took a taste of it. It's not going to need salt. Not a bit. So I don't need to do that. Well, I'm not going to add any salt. You can, of course, as always, but I don't recommend it. But, the drop of pepper won't hurt it. And my favorite green salsa, verde. That's always going to taste nice. Use whatever you like. You want paste picante? Go ahead, go for it. It is your meal. So there we go. All I need to do is give it a wrap. And that's a wrap. <laughs> bon appetit, my friends. You really should make some of these. Especially if you have a crowd, because this is a crowd pleaser. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah. If you need more, just double up on it. 
I got some leftover tomato, but I always dump that in with the mix. It's best to do it now because now means it won't um, cook it to death. So I'll put a bit of tomato in there. Probably had a bit more in a minute. I've got to have my dinner first. I'm kind of hungry. So, it's going to be easy to clean up the pan. As you can see, nothing's burnt to the bottom. It's as clean as a whistle. So there we are. One wrap. One appetite.